there's been an alarming rise in COVID cases in more than 30 states. And yesterday, Dr. Fauci gave, a, they gave the Senate a really disturbing warning about how bad things could get. This isn't the first time he's done this. But see what he had to say. Take a look. We can't just focus on those areas that are having the surge. It puts the entire country at risk. We are now having 40 plus thousand new cases a day. I would not be surprised if we go up to 100,000 a day if this does not turn around. And so I am very concerned. And a lot of Republican politicians are joining the chorus of telling people, you know, now is the time to wear a mask. Do you think they're getting on board with it? Is it, <laughs> is it, it's about time or is it what the hell took so long? What's your opinion, Joy? Oh, my opinion. Well, I, it's so interesting, you know, for, for months they've been protecting Trump and they've been prioritizing the economy over science, especially uh, Pence is now wearing a mask. He spent the last three months saying it was uh, you didn't need them. Um, but now that they see that uh, Trump's poll numbers are going down uh, precipitously, they have decided that they have to, say, to save their own butts. And so now they take, they're putting the mask on. You say, I think it's politically, uh, politically motivated myself. Also, they're worried about the right. voters and they're, vo they're worried about the Lincoln Project. These guys, they're petrified now. They, they took the wrong road. And no they have, one is they worried have about the Lincoln Project. And abetted, no one. They have, aided, they have aided and abetted this president down the road to destruction. And we are all in this sinking boat with them until this country gets it together and says we need leadership. Uh, I say vote them all out, all of them, every Republican running. Well, Will there be a, a cultural shift, do we think, now that people are seeing that people are dying and specifically because we're not wearing masks, we are promoting the spread? Do you think it, that's what people are starting to respond to, Sonny? And why do you think it took this long? I don't think there's going to be a cultural shift. And I think it, it, I don't think there's going to be a cultural shift because it depends on where people are getting their information from. Will people get their information uh, from Dr. Fauci or will they get their information from where they consume their media? There was a really interesting um, article in the Washington Post over the weekend on Saturday where there have been three separate studies that have determined um, that conservative media misinformation may have intensified the severity of the pandemic. And what was most interesting mm -hmm. to me, according to one of the studies, is that the infection and mortality rates are higher in places where um, Fox News' Sean Hannity reaches the largest audience. And um, uh, what was also fascinating was that uh, even Laura Ingram just yesterday said uh, uh, in reaction to Dr. Fauci's pronouncement that we are in dire straits right now. We could have 100,000 cases a day. She suggested, without offering any evidence to back up her claim, that Fauci is working for Joe Biden. And she called Dr. Fauci Dr. Doom um, and basically said, you know, for all we know, um, he could be Joe's running mate. So when you look at that and people are listening to these new personalities. They're reading and they're consuming this type of conservative media that's still going to be downplaying wearing masks, still downplaying the numbers. I don't think we're going to see this huge cultural shift because, as Joy just said, this has become political. This hasn't become... This is not about public health anymore, unfortunately. Uh, well, do you, would you agree with that, Megan? Do you think people are now starting to see that people standing next to them for whatever, whatever their politics are, people are actually starting to die in, in numbers, again, in places we hadn't seen it before? Do you think people are starting to wake up or you think this is just going to be business as usual? Well, I have a variety of opinions on this. The first is, I mean, I was speaking with Senator Kristen Sinema this morning about the huge outbreak in Arizona that is, Arizona is now the worst state in the country for this, and it was a state that didn't lock down. And so, and there's a lot of older populations, and there's actually, like, cities dedicated to the elderly in Arizona, and I'm very worried about what's going to happen in places like Sun City, given that COVID is hardly mm -hmm. under control. 
Look, I watched Dr. Fauci yesterday and I watched Dr. Rand Paul and I think we actually have a clip of something that he's saying that I wanted to show if we have time. Why weigh in with these opinions that we have no knowledge of? These are forecasts that may well be wrong. Perhaps our experts might consider the undue fear they are instilling in teachers who are now afraid to go back to work. No one knows the answers to these questions. We shouldn't presume that a group of experts somehow knows what's best for everyone. He was speaking about school children in European countries that have gone back to school and it has been okay. And uh -huh. given that the rate of infection with children is, is almost negligible and they don't spread the virus in the way that adults do. And I think even for people like me, I have a lot of questions for Dr. Fauci. I'm 100% willing to say on television, I do not have faith and trust in Dr. Fauci in the way that I did. And it has to do with the fact that we have conversations on this show, which I think we're all in agreement about, about people wearing masks and being responsible. And we're all in agreement on that. And then I see a, a, a giant pride march in Chicago, which is great that people are out marching in any other time other than a pandemic right here. And we're not supposed to be this close together. I'm not supposed to be within six feet of people. So the narrative continues to confuse me. Republicans are the devil. Fox News is the devil. But protesters for pride and protesters for Black Lives Matter, it's fine. And the pandemic doesn't exist. And I, that's not the that, narrative. Actually, the, that's I don't. Said I don't that. I don't think that's uh, actually think that's, said. We, it's no not one what has the said that. We, have, we, you know, we, I'm the only conservative no, on actually, this show, and I leave this place, and all I do yes. is pretty much consume conservative media. So I was just trying to explain what uh -huh. conservatives are seeing. And as much as we want to trash Fox News, Tucker Carlson has the highest approval ratings and numbers in Fox News history right now, partly because he's saying in a much more eloquent way what I'm saying right now. And there's a lot of anger and frustration about this hypocrisy. And we can say, forget it here, and we can talk about the Lincoln Project, <laughs> and we can say, vote Republicans all out. Out, but it is making the culture war divide even further, and maybe that's what we want. Well, here's the deal. I who feel said, who there said it is, was okay? you know, at this point, at this okay point, there is no person, there is no person on the face of uh, in our country who can look at what's happening and say that that your politics is wrong or my politics is wrong. This is not about politics. People who are conservative people who are Republican, people who are Democrat, they're all getting hit the same way. People are dying. And so for me, I don't see where the question is. It's not about your rights. It's about there's a thing in the country, there's a poison in the country, and all we need to try to do, and we've said it to everybody. We said it about the beaches in, in Florida, and we you know, sort of shame people into making changes. We have talked about the fact that everybody has to get on board to, to stop the spread of this thing. We said it to the marches. We said it to everybody. No one is making but a Dr. distinction. We got to put the masks on. In the way that I would have liked. That's the point I was trying to make, is that the leaders in place, like Dr. Burks and Dr. Fauci, I think should have been screaming bloody murder when all the protesting and rioting started. And I do think there was an impression right. in and the when media they... from some people that it was uh -huh. okay because it, the protesting and the existential crisis of police brutality which we can have another conversation at another time was more important than the virus and the outbreak and people still and people have different I, opinions on that there are people that agree with that but the idea absolutely. that we're going to sit here there and say are, it's just yes. republicans not wearing masks is just intellectually dishonest no, I, I don't think that's what she was saying. I think she was saying, because Tucker Carlson was saying wear masks. I think that what the point that the piece was making that Sonny is talking about is they were saying that because so many folks on Fox News poo-pooed it and said, you don't need to do it, it, it had an impact right. that people did not and want to see. And the protesting and rioting did saying. not. And I'm saying, Three different yes, studies. No, no, I'm saying, no impact whatsoever. It's a the different, protesting no and one, the rioting, no, one has no said impact. That. It's no, just Fox News. No one has said that. Listen. Listen, you want to look. You want to fight about it. We can fight about it. I don't but that's fight not about what's it. been I, said. I can't what keep we're sitting saying, here, but it, 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 acting like the protest in Chicago didn't just happen. And again, I just think we all have to be. This show is on the same page. I will give you that. I think all the hosts on this show are on the same page. But I do not think Americans are on the same page as this. And I know when someone like me is frustrated when it feels like the people in in place in places places of power like Dr. Fauci are not going on TV and screaming bloody murder about the dangers of this, and we're seeing spikes. Every Everywhere. I understand why there's right. frustration. I understand too, but I will also point out that they just started having these meetings again. 
So we hadn't seen Fauci doing a lot of this. And you're right. Everybody should have been bitching about it. We've been bitching about it. And I believe a lot of people have been. But I don't want to say, I don't want to split it down the middle and say, oh, you're just saying it's these people. We're not. We're saying everybody well, we, who's not the wearing a mask of this is a problem. segment opens with Joy oh, saying, wait, when vote we come... all the Republicans out, and you're scared of the Lincoln but Project. But that's her how opinion. Am I that's I know, her but how opi am I supposed to? My her... opinion is we'll that's go, ridiculous. We have to go to, we have to go to, okay, you can say that, but we have to wait now because we have to go to break. We'll